So Dr. A.G. Sasahara, a PhD MBA, is a partner of the Healthcare Cloud Initiative and NPO, and is currently focusing on digital biomanufacturing for new therapeutics. He has extensive experience in digital marketing, life science industries, security awareness activities, and clinical research regarding team-based care for mm-hmm. RP therapy utilizing digital health jointly with St. Luke and International Hospital Tokyo. He holds a BA from Keio University, an MBA from Boston University Graduate School of Management, and a PhD in Medical and Pharmaceutical Sciences from Chiba University Graduate School of Medical and Pharmaceutical Sciences. His views on IT utilization issues have often been quoted by major publications such as Asahi Shimbun, Manichi Shimbun, Nikkei Shimbun, Nikkei BP, and Tokyo Kezai. Uh, Sasahara san, uh, welcome to uh, GVHS 2020. You have an extremely uh, interesting topic uh, for us uh, to give information on. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of the session. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, introduction. I'm H. Sasara uh, from, um, now I, I, live, I live in Japan, and uh, I'm also the uh, leader of Karoseki Alliance, uh, Japanese chapter, and uh, leader of Health Information Management Working Group at, at Health uh, in Japan. I'm also uh, uh, participating in the uh, activities of those uh, working groups in the US. Um, so today, uh, so I'd like to introduce that, uh, Telehealth security. However, in, in Japan, there is no uh, testing environment for, for the uh, cloud based uh, telehealth. Uh, so, only uh, in the US, uh, uh, as you know, uh, NIST, NIST published uh, guidances for telehealth, smart uh, telehealth, uh, cyber security, and also now uh, NIST is starting to uh, a new initiative for telehealth uh, by a smart home. I'd like to introduce uh, that, uh, uh, those, those uh, guidance and the document in the US. After that, I, uh, uh, I would like to introduce uh, so-called uh, cloud-native privacy and cloud-native security for telehealth. Uh, 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 and uh, regarding those issues, uh, Krasiki Alliance published uh, guidance and uh, document already. And uh, regarding those uh, from, from both NIST and the CSA, uh, you can download uh, the, those documents at free of charge. Uh, in addition, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to uh, uh, provide uh, the, uh, uh, the presentation material, material today and to you. At, and at first, this is a NIST SP 80,000. Uh, 183 uh, securing telehealth remote patient monitoring ecosystem. Uh, uh, this is published in uh, February this year. And uh, uh, this is very interesting uh, uh, stories. Uh, uh, this is so, uh, remote patient monitoring uh, architecture uh, for the uh, document. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, here is a patient home and the telehealth platform provider, this is on the cloud. And HDO means health delivery organization uh, or uh, hospitals. There are three, uh, three players, but uh, their, uh, their platform environment is quite different. Patient home is, uh, yeah, in this case, uh, patient um, may, may use uh, uh, internet connection for home, home health, home, homes. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, however, the, uh, for the telehealth, uh, telehealth pro- platform providers, uh, uh, they develop their own um, platform on the AWS or Google Cloud or something like this. Uh, in addition, uh, the health uh, hosted, uh, also, on the other hand, Horst uh, has established, established their own uh, uh, traditional uh, uh, health information uh, systems. So it's not easy to integrate those uh, those players with common with common uh, security standards. This is a, a key challenge, key topic of the document. And uh, in addition, this is a uh, uh, RPM architecture from the viewpoint of the, uh, layers. Uh, this is a patient form and uh, terrace providers and HDO is same. But uh, this is a uh, there's a business layer 
uh, for example, the biometric de devices or wearable devices there, and this for uh, 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 application is here. And this is for EHR or uh, clinical information system is there. And this is a security layer. Uh, security layer, uh, this is uh, for, uh, for the uh, patient home and also the uh, uh, security uh, solutions for uh, telehealth providers and HDOs. There are different uh, uh, features or uh, equipment there. And in addition, so there's an infrastructure low layer. Uh, uh, in case of ho uh, home, uh, this, uh, it is typical that they use uh, Wi Fi. And, it, and in this case, it's the, the telehealth providers use uh, uh, AWS or Google Cloud or, or Azure, like this one. And this, and here, and he is uh, HDO, it means also one organization. So, and uh, health care users also it, uh, enterprise uh, uh, management systems, like this. Uh, and this is the final uh, RPM architecture for the uh, NIST document. Yeah, this is the yes, uh, patient home, and uh, they, they use yes, like, uh, a Wi Fi or their own uh, equipment to the cloud. And uh, this is for uh, telehealth uh, providers, and uh, they have their own uh, systems with uh, uh, cloud, uh, cloud uh, uh, infrastructure. And this is a uh, yeah, uh, uh, hospital um, information management system. This is very complicated. Uh, um, so all those are. Uh, uh, they are integrated on the cloud. So as you as you know, this is very it is very very difficult to harmonize and so maintain a common cybersecurity uh, level. Or it's a change. Yeah, this this is very very difficult. Uh, at uh, from the uh, uh, next is uh, is. Uh, is uh, doing something like mapping uh, works. Uh, they are based on uh, this cyber security framework. Uh, this is a common framework uh, worldwide. And uh, also, and uh, there, is, uh, there are several uh, uh, regulations or standards there. Uh, IEC 8001, this is for uh, risk management for medical devices. And in the US, there's a uh, uh, so notorious rule uh, for HIPAA. And in Japan, uh, the uh, personal information protection law uh, and uh, related uh, guidance has uh, established. And the yeah, answer, so this is a common, uh, common standards for the uh, security management, 2701, uh, so called uh, ISMS. There, uh, so this map, yeah, this is for, uh, for the uh, NIST cyber security item, and this is for. Uh, IECTR 8001, HIPAA, HIPAA, and ISO 2003. And NIST completed those mapping works there, and you can see the all uh, no, items from through the, this document. And this is, uh, next one is uh, so uh, now is in, in the early stage of the uh, initiative and uh, mitigation cyber disk in telehealth smart home integration. Uh, cyber security for the healthcare sector. Uh, in this case, uh, 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 even in, uh, uh, currently in Japan, uh, many local government agencies are trying to develop uh, so-called uh, smart healthcare city or smart, uh, smart uh, city project. In, uh, in those cases, uh, it is essential to integrate uh, 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 it's uh, providers and hospitals and, and uh, smart homes. But yes, this is a very difficult uh, uh, problem. But and now NIST is, is starting to develop a testing infra infrastructure for the initiative. Uh, this is uh, the idea. Uh, this document uh, uh, explains about the uh, uh, background and the situation of the, those uh, initiatives. So this is uh, uh, shows a component of architecture uh, from uh, up, up, uh, patient home and by patient home cloud service provider uh, healthcare technology uh, this is also uh, integration solution providers and uh, H, uh, HDO 
So this is also uh, this, uh, this goes, uh, uh, this goes, uh, uh, in this case in this case is uh, uh, inpatient or, uh, or uh, uh, within the hospital to the yeah outside hospital or uh, form and there's uh, a wide uh, 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 there are a lot of yeah components yeah and smart home devices or personal fire or wireless access this is a typical uh, uh, environment for the home user and uh, in this case in this case cloud site provider uh, uh, use voice assist platform so voice only uh, they, they can uh, the solution uh, provider can uh, process uh, conduct some processes on the cloud cloud platform and tells integration applications and yes and finally uh, the, there's a uh, we uh, within the hospitals uh, there are uh, legacy so called legacy systems such as uh, electric medical records or electric health record or uh, clinical information systems are like this so uh, it is essential to integrate so uh, uh, the information from from home to the with uh, uh, patient records or something like this this is essential for the uh, conduct of uh, treatment. Uh, this is, uh, this shows a high level in architecture, uh, and this is part by patient home and cloud site provider. This is a voice assistant platform, something like uh, uh, Amazon uh, Alexa, and and they and uh, they receive uh, receive uh, uh, voice information to the, and up to the cloud, then then sent to the uh, his uh, integration. Uh, platform and, and finally uh, host receives the uh, information. This is high level architecture. And, they, uh, and this provides three uh, scenarios. And this is the uh, first one is a patient business scheduling. Uh, uh, so by, by, uh, you by using this uh, solutions, uh, uh, patient, uh, patient can uh, arrange uh, the, the appointment with doctors uh, within the, the house. So uh, and in this case, they, they use a smart, they, uh, so patients say something to the smart speakers and submit a speaker receives information and uh, changes in, uh, to digital and send to the uh, finally sent to uh, a whole hostel like this. And finally, and, and, uh, and they can, and, Hospital provides so uh, information regarding so next appointment. Uh, and this, uh, since this uh, scenario two, patient prescription refill. refill. In many cases, uh, uh, for example, in case of diabetes, uh, patients uh, it is usually that patients receive same uh, drugs uh, for, for, for for example five past three months or per uh, one month like this. So once, uh, once, uh, if once a patient receives a, a prescription, uh, uh, in some uh, some cases uh, they can uh, so hospital professor can arrange so prescription repair and without uh, uh, without uh, 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 without visit to the hospital uh, or drugstore or pres drugstores. Uh, patients can receive uh, uh, the, the, the drugs they need uh, from uh, from from uh, uh, online or something like, uh, by online like this. This is the scenario two. Yeah, and regarding uh, this uh, scenario three, and uh, uh, and uh, it's in many uh, in many treatments, so they have uh, a specific regimen. Uh, for, for treat and uh, for example, uh, 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 three pieces of drug wine at one uh, one day, and continue uh, the, uh, the those uh, drugs for a week or something like this, and uh, and uh, so and uh, doctors need uh, must check uh, com compliance with uh, yeah uh, the, those uh, regimen. Uh, by so 
in, uh, in this case, user uh, say, some, say uh, something to the voice and they did, and the doc doctors uh, in the hospital receive uh, the, the question, uh, question uh, answer from the uh, patient and they check, uh, check and then, and the uh, doctor uh, decide the next uh, treatment method like this. And this is, uh, the NIST uh, provides three scenarios and, uh, and now NIST is uh, starting to develop so testing architect, testing platform architecture for the, uh, this uh, specific uh, initiative. Uh, yeah, I, uh, as uh, uh, I mentioned in our previous document, and uh, uh, this also yeah trying to develop a mapping. Uh, Yes. In this case, NIST adopted SP 853 division. This is a this is also common uh, standards for the uh, cyber security at the NIST. And even uh, Japanese government is uh, try, adopted this uh, standards to uh, manage uh, security issues in Japan. And as a rule, is uh, is common. Yeah, as yeah, this for medical device. Uh, Risk management and the HIPAA and uh, ISMS like this. Then there is something about mapping this issue. Uh, this is for, uh, for the uh, NIST uh, document. And for, uh, from this here, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, yeah, our document by our, our organization, uh, CSA. Uh, CSA, across the Alliance, uh, established, uh, published uh, terrace data in the cloud. Uh, in June 16 or yeah, 2020, uh, uh, in this document, uh, we focused on yeah, uh, data protection, the privacy and data protection on the cloud. This is a very, uh, very, very critical issue in the uh, healthcare industry, and many uh, it is a fact that many hospitals uh, are afraid of uh, keeping uh, sensitive data on the cloud, even now. Uh, this content from uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, composed of those uh, issues and uh, I'd like to introduce some uh, and this is for uh, uh, and uh, CSA uh, uh, provides a consideration issue is for the uh, the posters regarding a terrace agreement with cloud service providers. Uh, uh, in case of uh, cloud services, so content of terrace so, so service level agreement is very very important because after the uh, after the uh, conducting uh, the, the uh, agreement, uh, it is impossible to change the uh, it is impossible to change the uh, and particularly in, even in case of uh, uh, cyber incident, uh, it, in, in some cases hospital cannot can nothing. So so yeah, classic alliance provide. Uh, uh, Consideration, uh, these issues, maybe. So, uh, so, so, in case, in this case, also, postal record knows uh, where our data was uh, stored, what was, uh, who uses, uh, who uses those, those data inside of, uh, within the cloud service providers, like this. It is essential to, yeah, to, to fix at first, first. So, uh, some kind of co is so called so safety by design or uh, privacy design for the healthcare providers. And this continues the same issue. And, yes. and, uh, and those are uh, 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 consideration is uh, uh, implemented in uh, the, our document. And if you have a chance, if you have a chance to download my, our document, please see uh, those materials. And uh, so next is governance is very important for the hospital because uh, hospital must have must uh, uh, report uh, what happened to to the uh, regulators. In, in case in, in case so in case of Japan, so to the uh, HMLW or local uh, government agencies. Yeah. So, but it's SLA service agreement. The agreement is. Uh, Critical issue and the, it is essential for the uh, hospital to explain details uh, about uh, what uh, this, those issues to the uh, regulators and the patients. And next is compliance. Compliance 
yeah, so as you know, so healthcare is a regulated industry uh, as uh, similar to uh, uh, financial industry. So it is essential to uh, uh, keep some kind of evidence for the compliance with uh, uh, healthcare uh, regulations. So, and in many cases, so, uh, auditors check. So, uh, so we rec recommend to uh, those uh, take care of those issues, uh, even use as uh, uh, a the, on the cloud. Next is the confidentiality. confidentiality. This is very the most important important issue for the privacy and data protection for the government. And recently, uh, as authentic and. Uh, uh, in many cases, so cyber incident of, 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 of caused from the uh, hacking of the uh, uh, account, uh, user account. So this authentication, access control is very, very important. And also the cloud, is, cloud service is based on multi-tenancy. So multi-tenancy is also uh, has risk because there are uh, another, other service provider that you may use uh, the, on the same server like this. And patent binary management. This is for, yeah, as you know, the uh, cases from ransomware attacks, uh, part and, and, uh, oh, many times patches are essential, and uh, encryption, uh, this is very important. And uh, uh, today, so in Japan, uh, uh, Japanese regulations uh, requires encry encryption to the healthcare providers directly. So in, some, in, many, in many, many cases, uh, uh, his, uh, his, uh, patient data stored without encryption. Uh, this is a nightmare for the, like this. And, and, and finally, data persistence is a uh, so. Is. And so next is uh, confidentiality and integrity is the next issue, like this. And uh, maintenance data is and assurance is very important. And, uh, and and uh, GSA provides uh, key questions, and uh, uh, healthcare providers uh, consider the answer to the question and check. This is my, my rec our recommendation. And availability is uh, uh, well, uh, another part of uh, cyber security availability. Availability is uh, also important because uh, hospitals uh, must continue the operations. Uh, in emerging, 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 emerging cases, because uh, uh, emerging uh, time is, uh, oh, it means that the uh, hyper, yeah, high uh, power, power is, uh, this, uh, people need a hospital, so like this. And we, uh, we also provide some of those issues, some of the, uh, those questionnaires, so. And finally, this is the uh, next, uh, uh, document. This is telehealth data in the cloud. So uh, this is uh, human, and we pro, uh, provide information governance and uh, framework. So means from strategy, policy, standards, uh, procedures, and guidance guidelines. And uh, now, so uh, uh, in Japan, the uh, number of guidelines and or uh, are limited to particular in case of telehealth. So it is essential to import best practice and uh, uh, common standards from the outside, such as from the US or uh, European Union, or, or in, some cases, uh, in some cases, Singapore or Asian countries. And so, and the uh, data life cycle uh, from create, store, use, share, share archive, destroy. Uh, this, this one cycle is, uh, happens at each data. So uh, it is essential to uh, manage every almost or every uh, life cycle of data. And in addition, so the most important thing is so uh, so relationship with, between security and privacy. Uh, so this area, so uh, both both security and privacy, uh, uh, this is a high risk area and. Uh, uh, as you know, in, in, UK, uh, in European Union, so G, uh, penalty with GDPR from privacy regulation. And on the other hand, uh, they, uh, they have also uh, fine. 
from the security uh, regulation. So in case of double, uh, so uh, healthcare providers must pay a higher, higher payment. So it, it is essential to avoid those issues. So, uh, so CSA uh, provides uh, uh, based on the data life cycle and so consideration is like this. This is our uh, issue. Yes. So uh, it, uh, this final conclusion, and, and uh, so adoption of NSC five is so emerging to tele services. And the uh, next challenge is so how to how to integrate tele health and smart home with common uh, level of security. And uh, number three, uh, privacy data protection uh, uh, by design. So agreement with uh, uh, provides are essential, a key point. And cloud native security, uh, in this case, so continuous data lifecycle management so is a key point. Uh, this is uh, my conclusion from uh, to you. Thank you very much for listening to my uh, presentation. Arigatou gozaimashita. Uh, thank, thank you so much, uh, Sasahara san. I think this was a truly uh, digital health uh, related uh, uh, presentation. Uh, I, since we have two minutes, uh, we, I'll just wait for the audience to ask any questions that they have on the presentation. Uh, also, uh, the panelists, fe uh, please feel free to ask any questions that you may have. Uh, so, uh, Sasara san, there is one question. Uh, yes. uh, is there uh, in in Japan currently? Uh, is there any integration of telehealth with smart home already happening, or is there any case studies that you have already done in Japan? So uh, in Japan, not yet. Uh, however, uh, in uh, in uh, some cities, uh, in some cities, so for uh, uh, smart city project now, uh, 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 they are uh, implementing uh, so uh, so called uh, co common uh, operational uh, systems. Uh, uh, next step is to uh, uh, implement uh, healthcare applications. So maybe uh, within maybe uh, within five years, uh, uh, Japanese uh, providers uh, will, will try to yeah integrate these issues. And uh, uh, however, so the largest problem is a lack of uh, manpower sh uh, talent shortage, particularly in healthcare IT. So we need help from the. Uh, uh, Asian countries, including uh, India or Malaysia or Taiwan, yes, because uh, about aging society, yeah, we need uh, next generation talent. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely, and I'm sure since we have a lot of panelists from the Asia Pacific region, uh, I hope if there is some kind of a collaboration that they can do with you, I'm sure they will uh, reach out to you, Sasa Harasan. Uh, thank you so much, 